one headline really caught our attention this week. Scientists develop lightsaber molecules at MIT. Could Luke Skywalker's weapon from Star Wars really exist? I went over to MIT to find out. Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Inside this lab at MIT, Professor Vladin Vuletic doesn't have a weapon yet, but using lasers, he's discovered a new form of matter. It has been a long dream to make light beams or photons interact with one another. You're braver than I thought. In his complex physics research... Then we use laser beams and shine them in from six sides, and these laser beams actually cool the atoms. He's been able to make light particles, photons, bind together to make a molecule. Can you explain in layman's terms what it is you've done? Maybe a characteristic of a lightsaber is that you have these two light beams and they don't go through one another as you would expect ordinarily. They just kind of bounce off each other. So in theory, a Star Wars lightsaber could exist, which leads to other questions. If you were in the frozen tundra and needed to use a lightsaber to cut open a tauntaun to keep warm, <laughs> these kinds of beams of light could do that. Yes, well, any powerful laser could actually do that. <laughs> the professor is a Star Wars yeah. fan. The first Star Star Wars movie was about at the time when I was, I don't know, 10 or so. So I did watch it and I was fascinated. <laughs> You've been able to create a new form of matter. Yes, we have been able to create molecules of two photons, which really has not been done before. The circle is now complete. Close, but not quite, Jedi. Someone could take this research and somewhere down the line create something like a lightsaber. Let me say it's not completely unimaginable, but it's far, far out there. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far, far away. away. I will agree with that. <laughs> now, Professor Vuletic says his research could really need quantum computing could be a reality. He predicts sometime this century. That means computers that run at the speed of light instead of electricity. 10,000 times faster than what we're used to right now.